हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक आई एम अर्पित मोदी एंड वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू दी इंटरेक्टिव सी वी पार्ट टू सो आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग फर्स्ट वॉट इज दी बोरिंग सी वी एंड वॉट वॉज दी बोरिंग सी वी ऑल अबाउट ओके सेकेंड वी हैड प्रिपेयर दिस इंटरेक्टिव सी वी अर्लियर इन अर्लियर वीडियो राधर नाउ यू नीड टू ड्रिल डाउन योर कॉम्पिटेंसीज यू नीड टू शो लेस एंड एक्सप्रेस मोर while appearing for an interview so what i'll be doing let me go through the first this interactive cv what this is just one page of cv okay i had done lot of background work that is what you need to do before go, uh, making such cv so i am just copy and pasting the my competencies which i have already prepared okay i am just aligning some uh, this competence is as per my requirement yeah so basic alignment you need to do by yourself but you can make changes as per your requirement so here i am adding header column or header shape where i'll be giving my basic information like name address like phone number or maybe email id current address permanent address if i have any see i am adding another shape i am just adding shape as usual that i did earlier in earlier video this is the one format that i am going to represent in my cv or i will going to represent myself in a cv another uh, uh, another sorry another 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 shape i am just changing the color applying some shadows or if you want to apply you can if you don't want to apply it is up to you okay just changing the color to dark red now this will be my hobbies again changing colors to gray so if you see my v if you see my cv this is the part where i am going to put my certifications that i have had in my current organization changing the colors maybe on job certification so i am just adding this you need to put this shape and add the text that's all maybe you need to align with your font size or font type or anything okay so now i'll be putting my education background over here selecting all the my education milestones copying them pasting here see so easy so easy you can translate your data here or your milestones here it is completely unnecessary to put everything in a cv rather you put highlights and say more when you are appearing for an interview okay so 2005 i did the my under graduation 2007 higher graduation then btech in 2011 mba did i in 2014 so these are the milestones that i have prepared okay sorry These are the milestones that I am moving here and there. Just remember, you need to have lots of background work before copy and paste or before putting these things in place. As we all know, a build constructing a building will take a lot of time. Okay, so but for that we need a proper planning or a. Uh, constructing or making a car probably making anything you need a lot of time once you are done with the time and applying enough effort you just need to replicate your ideas into the picturization format see 
this is my education done i am copying my hobbies here ruk ja bhai sorry i am just copying my hobbies aligning them i'll get it into front or sending it back Education will be twelve point five. See, it is quite easy. You can do it. Only thing you need to have is the background work ready. So here I have just copy and pasted my contact or languages, date of birth, name. I'm just aligning everything. Everything is available in the tabs. You don't need to put pro put any macros or anything. So what I will doing? I am just uh, having my professional experience timeline. I have prepared this chart, changing the chart type. and plot area okay so this is just in plot area now i have prepared this chart as per my experience you can have as per your experience more or less uh pieces of pie or donut it's completely up to you So this is how I am translating. See, now I need to crop this image. What I'll do, I'll simply use the crop button that is in format crop. Done, done. This is the only shape I want. So I am removing all other shapes. See, this is ready. This is my timeline 2000 from 2014 to 2018 as on date. Couple of alignments I am doing. That's it. Now these are the text boxes that I have already created. I am copying all of them and I will paste in my CV. So this is the data I want to represent or I want everyone to read. On the basis of this data I can read for like half an hour or so. So it is all up to you completely up to you how you want to represent your data. many people want to represent in um, text format so they can read and or interviewer can read while appearing for the interview i prefer to speak more while appearing for the interview so i am just adding the times lines or major highlights over here okay now these are the my other certifications and awards so i have already prepared if you remember i have already represented this in my the first cv which was bit of boring compared to this okay same thing is being replicated here but in entire different format so it is not what you represent it is about how you represent So I am just adding this uh, hexagonal boxes again from the insert and shape. Insert tab shape. I am changing the sh color of this hexagonal box. I am aligning them again. 
so you do not need the professional word or licensed version as in high end version not license you obviously need license version but high end i have high end version of the word these are the basic shapes are uh, over these are this basic shapes are available in all the excel or word files see i have just copied and pasted all the my expertise what i did i just wanted i just need to enter in the box and i can start typing in whatever color i want i may need to change the colors of course but still so this is how you can prepare this interactive cv what i'll be doing i am adding lines i have added line i am changing the layout of the line i will be adding another line copy paste adding another line i will be changing the width of the line in fact i am the most lazy person so i do not need to have this kind of jugglery what should i do i am simply translating data into the format i know how to translate the format saving as a pdf see this is the interactive cv i have prepared in less than 15 minutes you will require more time because you need to do a lots of background work but that is completely up to you how far you want to go or how interactively you want to present the data and thank you very much do subscribe to random timeline on for more exciting videos i'll be happy to help in ms office of parts thank you very much